So, welcome back to the next part of Mission Nutrition. As we go, we nearly finished this now. We seem to have got, um... We've got all the nutrients, all the keys to progress in the level. And we're nearly at the end. So this is a level which I love depleted 100% by the, um... Rice Krispies. Uh, by the cereal, sorry. Cereal. Which is, gives us another bit of a life. I can't imagine what this guy what's under here, but let's go and have a look what's down here. That's it. Okay. I can I can live with that. By the way, the protecting cereals. I mean, what the hell? Surely, surely... Okay, that's another secret place we should get you out of this level. Um, if you drop down to there. Uh, I forgot about that place, but I remembered it again. Yeah. As I said before, I mean, what is the point? They come with this amount, with this amount of crocodiles into this place. Then, you know, just for the sheer unadulterated hell of it, they only guard the cereals when they could have taken out Snap, Crackle, Pop, whatever you want, all of them, while they were eating the cereals at the beginning of the game. I personally don't understand the logic behind the uh, failed attempt at killing them. So wait. How do I get to that bit that they... I assume you have to transform back into something like Tony, because he can jump. So yeah, let's go back as Tony. So now we've got everything we need into that place. Let's go back. Go back all the distance. It just seems stupid because they've got how many bloody crocodiles? And yet they still choose not to kill any of us. They just set out impossibly difficult traps, like this level, so we can get our Rice Krispies back. I don't believe this. He's not able to jump over there. Oh, finally, yeah, that was a slight annoying annoyance. But yeah, you see what I mean. Instead of staging an armed an armed attack into the um, island, which only a certain amount of cereals will be there, why not just raid Tesco? I'm sure you'd get away get away with much more if you raid Tesco's warehouse than the head of warehouses here. But you know, that's just my thinking. After all, this is a child's game. Well, not meant for uh, thinking very much. The problem with Tony is he does have a slow down speed, like when you let go, he'll go whoa for a second. He won't slow down completely instantly, but that's not much of a problem, is it? So yeah, pretty much now we just get on here and go bloom. I've been surfing before. Surfing is pretty damned awesome. Apart from the last day I was told about weaver fish. That wasn't nice. I didn't actually put my foot on the ground before because I was so scared of a weaver fish. So yeah, there we go, and there's your final end game, complete the game, so 90% of the game done now, the next level, finally got back to where it was, Frosty Mountains, well of course you need to change and it ends like this, and you'll first see, you'll see your first very fast enemy in a moment, there we go, hello, he's faster than me, unlike every other enemy in the game. So there you go. Oh, let's see how far I can get this video before the end of the part. I've got how many minutes left? Five minutes, about. The last time I was in this bit, I actually glitched the matrix and I fell to the floor again and the game died on me. Which didn't make me happy. I imagine you can replace the music in the game as well with whatever you like, but this music is quite therapeutic. Oh well. There's no point in killing him. Oh, iron. If you want iron, there's your iron. Look, you're getting stuttering in this game now. 
Not surprised. I am running Windows 98. Windows Vista in Windows 98 sort of looking mode. So, um, and Audacity and um, the Cam Studio in one go, which is something which is pretty intensive. So yeah, I don't know possibly what need we'd have from that, so I'm just going to imagine we don't need to bother with it. Um, down here there's a key, so one would expect that to be useful. And oh, crap, I just jumped down. That was useful. That's where I died last time. I just glitched to the floor when I hit that guy. And then the game exited. Another key. What do we wonder what we need these keys for? Okay. Bonus. I wonder, wonder if we'll get the um, what I expect to get on the other side. Oh crap. Okay, no, regular door. Oh, come on! What even was that? I fell through the flipping floor! Yeah, it's a trap. They actually have traps in this game now. You fall through the floor because you're not worthy. When I first found that, I actually thought I, the game had just glitched again, and I actually got quite mad. But yeah, as I said before, this bit is pretty easy. I'm pretty sure there's another one of those floor traps as well. How can you tell? Usually when there's a big gap underneath and you can see it. That's how I'd guess it. But yeah, there we go. Didn't get the barley, but completed that level. I have about two minutes to go, like 96%. Is this the end of the game? No, it isn't. But I don't like this place already, so I'm going to quit. So how can I get 96% when I've got what? One, two... Oh, I suppose done is how many, how much you've done, but there we go. Of course, super smooth mode makes you go super fast, so there's no need to turn to that. Yeah, so quickly before we go, at this part, we've got about two minutes left. Um, just a few things, really. Just, give, just get some decent music running while we do it. Yeah, so... Um, with these parts now, I've had to record them separately, as you know. Um, as you can see, I'm running Windows Vista. It may not look like Windows Vista, but where's, where's something which I can sort of show you it's running Windows Vista? <laughs> um, I don't know where I could show you it's running Windows Vista. I suppose, yeah, you can tell that's running Windows Vista from the whatever. So, you're running Windows Vista and you've got Windows 98 running. It's not big enough to fit. But you can tell this is Windows 98. Why? Because of it says Windows 98 on, on the sidebar there. So yeah. Mission Tradition doesn't record well, whatever. You know what I mean. I'm going to finish this game off. I'm going to complete it. Then I'm possibly going to try a 100% um, a, a run of it without cheats. Um, possibly, maybe not. Don't know. But I'm definitely going to do a run showing you how to get everything at some point. And also, I'll show you have a guide of how you install everything and make everything okay once you've got all the items. So it's going to be another tutorial. So yeah, um, there are many things to watch out for on this. I'll be covering it on. I'll do a version that I did on Vista and XP, so two different ones, so you can see how to work it. It's pretty much the same once you've installed the program, but there are things that I took me ages to work out to do and what and what not. So yeah. See you guys on the next part, Mission Nutrition, where we try to get the last 4% of the game, the last two levels, I think. One of them be, will be the Croc, the big boss. See you next time on Mission Nutrition.